The Tiger, Honey Badger, and Pifo. A short story for a school project based on Native American trickster tales and creation myths, The Jungle is a diverse place and in it lived a hungry honey badger. The honey badger was a charming thing whose belly was never satisfied. So as the honey badger sought through the jungle floor, he met a beast so large it could swallow him whole. As it stomped through the jungle, the honey badger froze, hoping the big orange beast would leave it be. Honey badger, the tiger grumbled, you've not seen the people. He questioned. I have not, the honey badger replied, hoping tiger would run along as he had yummier things to attend to. Huffing and puffing, tiger traipsed away, hoping to find people. With a relieved heart, Honey Badger once again sought after his meal. Coming down to the river, Honey Badger checked under every rock, branch, and leaf, but there was nothing good to eat. Feeling woeful, Honey Badger sat by the trees, feeling his rumbling belly. Have your stomach not been full yet? Peefell asked, walking amongst the river bank. You hear its cries, Peefell, Honey Badger huffed. And shouldn't you worry about your own problems? Honey Badger asked. Letting out a slight chuckle, Peefell sat down beside Honey Badger. Have you noticed I've lost my beauty? He asked. Looking Peefell up and down, Honey Badger had noticed his bare back. Jealousy was a crime, for what came with it, harm followed after. Envy of my allure will surely cost him his own. Peefell added. How awful, he muttered. I'm guessing Tiger has had something to do with these. He asked, putting his hand on Peefell's back, he gave a sort of comfort. Thank you, friend, Peefell said, giving a nod. I must ask you of a deal. Pointing up to the sky, high in the branches of the tallest of all trees, hung a honey nest. Smacking his lips, Honey Badger thought of all the delicious honey that waited for him. With the honey so high and my venerated feathers lost, we could help each other, Peefell promised with a melancholic smile. Thinking for a while, Honey Badger agreed and promised to have all of Peefell's feathers by the end of winter. Going into his tunnel, Honey Badger thought of all the ways he could get the feathers back and after many suns had passed, he emerged from his hole with the brightest plan in mind. With a hand full of charcoal, he rushed over to Tiger's den. Oh, Tiger, he called. Oh, how I have eyes for your envy. Crawling over his pile of bones, Tiger appeared from his dark cave showing off his bright orange fur. And what great thing have you had for me? He asked. Holding up his clump of charcoal, Honey Badger climbed up Tiger's fur, dusted his claw with the black powder and began to claw at his skin, creating a beautiful black jag stripe. Huffing in pain, Tiger was quite satisfied with his look. What must I provide for me to be covered in such beauty? He pleaded. Without a second thought, Honey Badger replied, Feathers. I want the Peefell's feathers. A little shocked, Tiger rebutted, Why feathers? Why not meat or bugs, for all I can supply? Honey Badger just sat and gave a smile. He had no reason to explain to someone who would get exactly what they wanted no matter what he produced. Tiger had no reason to disagree, as a beast of his caliber had no need for such fragile things that he had plucked from the Peefell's body. So for all of winter, for every stripe Honey Badger created, was a feather received and by the end of winter Tiger was painted head to toe in stripes and boasted his beauty for he was one of his only kind to have such marks. Once Peefell's feathers were all in place and the bees had busied their hive with the sweet honey of approaching spring, Peefell climbed the tallest of all the trees and provided all the honey one could have in a lifetime. As Honey Badger ate till his belly was fat and Peefell flashed his beauty to the women of his people he felt sorry for the tiger. For the monsters from many lands had come with their weapons that roared thunder and echoed of grief have come for the beauty of the one in a million. For a fur rug shall suit his grave. 